Dear student, in this video, we will learn one important theorem on cyclic quadrilateral. Let's start. The opposite angles of cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. So, what is cyclic quadrilateral? A quadrilateral having its all vertices on the circle. You can see here we have a quadrilateral and you can see that it's all four corners are on the circle. So first we will draw a figure. You can see here we have a quadrilateral A, B, C, D, which is cyclic quadrilateral. So given we will write that quadrilateral A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. What we have to prove here, opposite angles are supplementary. So you can see in this figure angle A. Angle A means angle B, A, D. And you can see the angle opposite to it in this figure is C. That is angle B, C, D. It is one pair of opposite angles. So your angle A and angle C is one pair of opposite angles. And angle B and angle D is the next pair of opposite angles of this cyclic quadrilateral. And we have to show that sum of opposite angle is 180. That means angle A plus angle C is 180. And angle B plus angle D is 180. So what we will write in proof, you can see that measure angle A plus measure angle C equals to 180. Measure angle B plus measure angle D equals to 180. Now we'll go for the proof of it. Proof. Now you can see that in this figure, PAD is an inscribed angle. And arc BCD is the intercepted arc by the angle BAD. And inscribed angle is half of the intercepted arc. So here measure of angle BAD will be half of measure arc BCD. And now angle C is opposite to A. And you can see that this, you can see that in this figure. Angle C is also inscribed angle. Okay, angle BCD is inscribed angle, and arc BAD is the intercepted arc. Therefore, measure of this angle will be half of measure arc BAD. Okay, you can see that measure angle C is half times of measure arc BAD. Now we want A plus C. We want A plus C, so therefore we will add equation 1 and 2. So adding equation 1 and 2. So if I add what I will get, measure angle A plus measure angle C equals to half times of measure arc BCD plus half times of measure arc BAD. Now you can see that here we have half common. Okay, so half is common in this two terms, so we will take half as a common. So what we will get if I will take half, half common over here. I will get half times of measure arc BCD plus measure arc BAD. Now you can see in this figure arc BCD. This arc. Can you see in this figure arc BCD. And the other arc is BAD. BAD. And you can see this arc together forms circle. Okay. We can see in this figure arc BCD and arc BAD forms circle and we know the measure of circle is 360 degree so this two arc will be replaced by 360 degree why because they forms circle so we will get half times of measure of circle right and measure of circle is 360 so half times of 360 degrees now we'll cancel 360 degree by 2 so we'll get here measure angle a plus measure angle c equals to 180 degree so you can see that i have proved it angle a plus angle c is 180 degree similarly in the same way i can prove also that measure angle b plus d equals to 180 degree